we have our wish list we have some of the characters that we hope to see in the, the sequel if there is one that there's going to possibly be announced this is the week of summer game fest i'm excited to see what they bring out this might not be there but it might be some kind of potential announcement for a new nickelodeon title a nicktoons game or something that they're working on in particular i feel like something is coming just because of the silence and just things you know going on and um it's the fact that this game hasn't gotten anything in a while i think there is definitely something going to get announced very soon we're up in june hope you guys are having a great weekend but i wanted to do a little something different instead of just making a wish list let's start talking about characters you guys can make your own wish list in the comments if you want and maybe some of the characters but let's start talking about characters that have a better chance that are more likely most likely characters to be in the sequel and one thing i wanted to do with this list of 10 characters top 10 most likely characters to be in the colonial all-star brawl 2 if there is one round two if there's a round two or if there's a brand new title that's going to be similar to this or place like this for a new brand new platform fighter we'll see what happens but let's start talking about most likely characters that have a great chance to get into this game. We know it's going to be Spongebob getting into the game. There's no Nickelodeon game or these kind of Nickelodeon crossovers without Spongebob. Um, for example, we know they're going to probably be into the game in the Ninja Turtles. But now I'm going to start talking about specifics. And I already recently mentioned some of the characters that might get scrapped like April and Shredder. And that's what I'm going to you know, get started with with this top 10 but now before i even jump to them i wanted to start with my first character with jimmy neutron it's a crime that jimmy neutron is not in this game because this game is called nickelodeon all-star raw he's an all-star he's a nickelodeon all-star that i feel like he he belongs to be in this game he he's one of the most iconic nicktoons characters and a fan favorite and if you could believe it some of you guys still didn't want to purchase this game because jimmy neutron is not in this game because he has yet got to have gotten into this game and he's a missing character but we have these other characters that got in like hugh neutron which i personally don't mind i think he belongs he's so much fun and if not one of the funniest nickelodeon characters out there in the ncu so i'm kind of glad that they were able to really make it possible to get him in here per the fan the fan demand to get him into this game to start getting on the battlefield but it sucks he doesn't reference the shadow realm that's the one thing i was hoping that he would say <laughs> so i was hoping that'd be something that he would say in his voice lines but jimmy neutron i have to pick him as a most likely character for my first for my top 10 to start with because it's nickelodeon why not get jimmy neutron i hope he gets some kind of remake or some kind of revival for his show i'm not sure if they're going to get to that at some point with all these new modern shows coming out that seems to be a priority but jimmy neutron is definitely a character that i can see getting into the new sequel because he's a character in car racers 3 and his character model looks really good in that game so he can look something like he does in car racers 3 in the sequel and I'm not gonna leave Cindy Vortex out on the table, you know, just in the in the darkness. She deserves to get in the game just as much as he does, and she was also a playable character in Kart Racers 3. So Jimmy Neutron, I just had to put him in it. But I definitely could see maybe if they decide to get Hugh back into the game, he could probably get in, and then Cindy Vortex can join. I wouldn't mind any other Jimmy Neutron characters. Jet Fusion. Looking like James Bond, you know, James Bond sort of vibes in a way. But it's just it's just characters like him and Professor Clementus and all the other villains that can get into the game as well. So Jimmy Neutron is first. So I wanted to start with him as a most likely for my top 10. But now let's start talking about TMNT. We only got just again, just like I said last time, we only got Michelangelo and we got Leonardo. We only got two of the turtles, two of the four turtles that are in the game. And instead of getting Donatello and Raphael, who are my next picks in my top 10 for most likely characters, Donatello and Raphael is not even in this game. And that's why I didn't, this is something just so unexpected. And I'm still at a loss of trying to figure it out. 
what made them make the decision of giving Donatello and Raphael the boot and only selecting Leonardo and Michelangelo? Leonardo's the leader of the pack, calling the shots, which is understandable, but Raphael is the fighter. Just like I already say, so this is a game for him. And then the brains of the operation, Donatello, he'll be cool to be in this game too. But yet, those characters are in the other past previous Nick titles, which is crazy. But they're not in this one. This is the only difference maker. So I selected Donatello and Raphael, and I think April and Shred are going to get moved. Or just potentially replaced. Unless they decide to bring all the Turtles and bring back April and Shredder for the roster. We'll have to see what they do. But I see Donatello replacing Donatello and Raphael replacing April and Shredder. And then maybe even Casey Jones could be a good fit too as a brawler. But now let's start talking about the Avatar. So hopefully they'll be able to get the other Turtles in. Because this just doesn't feel complete. They're, they're a squad. They're always together and they fight together. So having the TMNT squad completed in the next sequel, in the next game, or the new title will make the most sense to be most likely. Let's start talking about the Avatar. We got Aang and Toph up in here. She's not from Aang's show, but she's an Avatar. Or at least from the last Airbender, at least. You got Aang and then Toph. We don't have anyone from the Water Tribe, but for my pit, my next pit, I went with Zuko. Not just because he's in another game, the most recent new Nick title, but because how could you have an all-star brawl or a platform fighter or a fighting game like this and you don't have anybody from the Fire Nation to rep to represent? Zuko is more ideal. So I think he definitely fits the the all-star brawl role and just with his fire bending and all the abilities he can do, Zuko is definitely be one of one of my favorite characters to play. And I think a lot of people would pick him up because he's just one of the most iconic and favorites in Avatar The Last Airbender. Guy Aang, why not have him go head to head with, with Zuko to settle things? So I think he definitely should be able to get in or at least somebody. If it's not Zuko, maybe Azula, Fire Lord, Ozai. Just they got all those other characters. They got plenty of characters they can go into their bag for at least from his show for the universe. We're moving on to another world. Let's start talking about Teenage Robot. My life as a Teenage Robot. You only have one rep with Zuko. Well, I was going to say with Zuko. With Ginny. <laughs> you only got one rep. You got Ginny from her own show. But you're not, you're not, they're not going to get Vexus. I had to get, I had to slip Queen Vexus up in my list with, as a most likely character. And then concerning the fact that this game doesn't have enough villains. Why not stack up the villains and add more antagonists? It's just too many heroes. It's too many protagonists in this game, which I don't mind. But how about the villains need to get more support and more love from the devs when and if they decide to go with a sequel with a brand new game. And Ginny battling out against Vexus, that'll be a lot of fun. And, um... From the cluster, trying to get Ginny to join the cluster prime, it'll be dope. And then they can have a unique dialogue. Vases and Ginny, that'll be something cool. But I don't, I don't know if they're going to do something like that, unique interactions like that. So she can get into the game as another pick from my most likely top 10. And we're going to move on to Danny Phantom. Danny Phantom's world. It's got to catch you more. Excuse Danny Phantom. Man. I just like that intro. But let's start talking about his show for a little bit. I pulled and select. I, I pulled and selected Vlad Plasmius. Now, just gonna say it now. I think somebody. I mean, I want to say someone, but when I first heard about this game coming out and when it, I guess during its first, the first couple of days or a week or something like that, week or two, during the time it was just now coming out, Vlad Plasmius was supposed to be in the files legitimate not something made up or fan made or just fan creating and stuff like that for a false rumor Vlad Plasmius was supposed to want to be supposedly supposed to be one of the characters for this game so why not get him for the sequel I picked him as well so I wanted to get in get at least more than one villain a villain or two to get into this game for uh 
for Danny Phantom's world. And he's just a another solo rep from his show. Danny Phantom from Danny Phantom. And then I wanted to go to SpongeBob's world to pull a SpongeBob additional character for a new face. I focused on new faces. I don't want to just get characters that are already in this game. I wanted to focus strictly on new faces that we haven't seen pop up yet, and that's not part of his roster. So I went with Squidward. I think Squidward would be a lot of fun to play with, and then with his musical talents, he can showcase them. They got his, they got his item in the game. That's as if they was trying to tease that he was going to be in this game. They got Squidward's clarinet. So he could be able to use that in his offense. And something else that came to mind, I finally was able to play uh, the multiplayer for Rehydrated for SpongeBob. He was able to use his attacks were based on the notes and his musical abilities for his talents. Underappreciated talent from the clarinet itself, creating these musical notes to destroy the enemies on the field in the multiplayer. So that's probably a little bit of how he can probably play using his clarinet to really be able to wreck habit on the field. But well, they got his item in the game, but I guess that wasn't going to, I guess that was a sign that he wasn't going to be in this current product unfortunately but i definitely can see him getting added into the game for the next game you spongebob only has three characters from his show and they can get so much more that are well deserving i was going to go with mr Krabs, but i went with squidward i think he could probably get into the game as well with plankton and karen as a duo but i didn't put them in my list so i wanted to at least slip in one spongebob rep for this uh this this most likely most likely character list Let's start talking about the Rugrats for a little bit. See, back to little solo reps. It's Reptar. He's a great character, a serial mascot. I don't even think he's a villain. I don't think he does. He is. He's on the he's a he's on the serial box, and then the kids like him. Tommy and Anna. Reptar. They want to be like Reptar. They always watch the show too. So I don't think he's a villain. Anybody anybody know if he really represents himself as a a, a, a villain? Because no one says it. I don't think I see anybody say he's a real villain in this game, like Shredder. But um, from the world of Rugrats, I selected Tommy Pickles. Now, me being a little bit different, you know, feeling a little bit different about Tommy Pickles, I would go for a game like this. I think Angelica Pickles is the better pick over Tommy. I would pick Angelica over Tommy in Nickelodeon All-Star Ball. Because she's older, and then it just seems like she'll be a little bit more dangerous, and it'll make the most sense getting her in. I wouldn't mind if Tommy Pickles gets in. I heard he was in that Super Bowl game. I haven't played it. So I said some of y'all in the chat was saying he uses his toys, a screwdriver, and some other some other stuff for some of his offense. It's part of his moveset. I don't know how he really played. If someone wants to elaborate, but. I definitely still put Tommy Pickles in my list because I think Rugrats definitely deserves more than one rep, but I would go with Angelica for sure any day. But Tommy Pickles will still be cool, so I put him in this list. Let's head over to the Loud House. You only got two of the Louds. You got Lincoln and Lucy. I don't know too much about the show and seen all the episodes and the seasons and memorized the episodes, things like that. <laughs> Maybe more of the Louds, a new Loud House member could get into the game. And I put, I selected Lena, Lynn, and Luann. But to be honest, I would like to see Lena, Lena Loud, or Lynn, because I think they would fit this game the most. I'm not sure what the other char characters are from outside the Loud House members could be able to get into the game. Lori could be cool too. Lori Loud and many of the other ones. I don't know if they'll put Clyde into this game. But I know that Lincoln and Lucio definitely make a return. Maybe a new Loud House member could get into the game. So I put those three, one of those, at least one new Loud House member I could see getting into the sequel. And then just to wrap up, let's try to make sure I didn't skip anybody. So this is my 10th pick. And See how some of these shows, we got all these different shows just to wrap up. All these new modern shows are coming out. And of course, I haven't seen most of them. I had to go with Big Nate. I think he'll really be able to cause some pranks and troubles, you know, some trouble on the field. 
And uh, I mentioned this before. He's a prankster. He's a prankster. And I think the developers can really do some unique things with Big Nate being a prankster to be able to cause trouble and be able to you know, trip up the opponent. And he can be one of the most unpredictable characters because we don't know what he's going to be doing and what he's capable of with all his different pranks. But I think Nickelodeon will probably want to get one of their newer shows into this kind of game for advertisement purposes, you know, in the marketing, et cetera, et cetera. They would definitely probably want to go with a newer show that's a modern. Could be somebody from the mind from the from Monsters High, Monster High, Big Nate. They could even go as far as doing something against somebody from the Patrick Star show. But I picked Big Nate in my list because it's a new mo modern show. I think the new season just recently started. And I think that the shows like him, his, shows like his or new modern shows, they're more likely to get a spotlight. Especially in a new Nickelodeon game or a new Nickelodeon crossover. And if they do like a new Nicktoons Unite sort of thing, they could probably end up getting Nate Wright or Big Nate involved in some of these other newer characters from these modern shows. Because I don't really think they really paying too much attention to the old school stuff. See how we only got a Blina? They're not really looking all the way too far back. You know, some of these old original shows, I grew up watching Cat Dog, I grew up watching all these shows. The only shows that I didn't really know about that's newer than all these other shows is the Lobs. But everybody else in the game, I watched everything. So I think they're gonna continue to probably focus. They'll probably wanna get somebody that's or convince them to probably try to get someone that's on these modern shows from the era from the Loud House and SpongeBob that continues to grow and prosper. I definitely see somebody from one of those newer shows getting into the game. What do you guys think? Which characters are most likely? I didn't want to talk about anybody that's already in this game because I already mentioned some of these characters might end up getting scrapped. Characters like him maybe and replaced and switched over. We don't know what's going to happen. But those are just my top 10 most likely characters I think can get into this game. And not even just focus on adding characters. Hopefully they'll be able to stack up on the modes too. So it gives the player more to do. The crossplay will be enabled. And it'll be a much bigger and better game. Even though this game still can be. But at this point, it's definitely safe to say. I don't think nothing's really going to be happening for this game. But this is the week to find out. With Summer Game Fest getting closer and closer. They'll definitely probably have some kind of announcement at some point this summer.